Solve the equation where x belongs to real numbers. At this moment I encourage you to pause the video and solve it by yourself. Ok, I will solve it now. In the first step I will change 4 to 2 to the power of 2 on the right side of the equation. In the second step I will use power rule for exponents, so power to power I will multiply the powers, so 2 times x plus 1 will be 2x plus 2. In the next step I will divide both sides of the equation by 2 to the power of 2x plus 2. Then slowly I will write it as Two to power of three x divided by two to power two x plus two times seven to the power of x minus two, and on the right side of the equation, this will be just one because the same thing divided by the same thing is one. Next step, I will use the quotient rule for exponents. The base is the same too. So I subtract exponents, so this will be 2 to the power of 3x minus 2x minus 2 times 2. So I will simplify that exponent 3x minus 2x minus 2, this will be x minus 2 times 7 to the power of x minus 2. This is equal 1. Then I can see the same exponents x minus 2 in both numbers, so I can write it as 2 times 7 to the power of x minus 2. And this is equal 1. So my next step, 2 times 7 is 14. 14 to the power of x minus 2 and 1 I can change, I can write with that 1 as 14 to the power of 0. So I have the same base, 14, so exponents must be equal, so x minus 2 is equal to 0, so from this I know the answer for my question is x equals 2. I can quickly check it, so I will check it. I will check if x equals 2 is correct. My left side of the equation was 2 to power of 3x times 7 to power of x minus 2. x is 2, so this will be 2 to power of 3x. 3 times 2 is 6 times 7 to x minus 2 and x is 2, so 7 to power of 0. 2 to power of 6 is 64. 7 to power of 0 is 1. 64 times 1 is 64. The right side of the equation was 4 to the power of x plus 1. x is 2, so this is 4 to the power of 2 plus 1 is 3. 4 times 4 times 4, this is also 64. So I know left side is equal to right side when x is 2. So x equals 2 is the correct answer. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to check my other math video problems and consider liking, sharing and subscribing.